on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we got a no money spent episode. I know Bree has been very inconsistent with no money spent. I know Bree missed a couple days in post. There's, you know, it's no content. I work a lot. My body's so exhausted. But we have our free wild card Wednesday week with 25 through 28. Before we take please to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for 11,000 subscribers. Ooh, she's going to roll to 12,000. Now, if I cut the video a little bit early and then transition back, Bree's stomach is bubbly right now. So if I had to go to the toilet, that's what's going to happen. But we got the best wild card Wednesday. We'll pick up nobody spent. I haven't keeping on my other account. I'm just like two weeks, so <laughs> we'll have to go from there. So shout out to Muddy G for this graphic for the wild card Wednesday fantasy packs. Uh, it helps content creators like us uh, do these a little bit easier. So going to the auction house and going to Muddy G, uh, it just gives us the entire graphic from flashbacks all the way up until Ryan Stars. So um, if we, let's go to the flashbacks and like I did most of the gameplay on the majority of these guys, so my, my opinion is pretty valid. Out of everybody in the wild card Wednesday, uh, Jimmy Ward, he's 5'10", but not a bad at safety. I think he may be 98 speed um, without being needed on the theme team, So, but he's 5'10", so most of you guys probably had like two of the mains or whatever, but um, not a bad choice, but Derek Carr, if you need a quarterback, but you guys probably should have Randall Cunningham, like I would say, guys, pick a theme team. And guys, when I pick these choices, I always recommend picking a card that fits your theme team or fit, uh, have a card that has some value to last a very, very long time. Receivers, running back, we get like a lot of those almost every single promo. So it's kind of pointless to pick one of these. Like I said, just, just pick someone who's going to last your team for a very long time or at least fit your theme team at least. If you guys have any questions, you can always ask me on Twitter or my Discord. Links in the description box down below. But I think out of everybody, Jason Myers, I, I mean, most of you guys probably should have updated characters by now. But if you're going to need one, I have to test out Christopher. So um, it's between Derek Carr and Jason Myers from Flashbacks. Heavyweights. Um, I, I think the way though is going for wild card Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. I think the best ones right now are probably gonna be being the heavyweights because they have linemen. They can last a little bit of a long time. We all know offensive linemen with the way the glitches are and people tricking the linemen by running to the line of scrimmage and running back. It's, it's kind of pointless, but hey, you don't want to spend too much on that. You get cheated anyway. So um, I haven't seen tested out that Jeffrey Simmons yet, but he does look pretty good. I wish I had my Titans team, but uh, he's not a good. Uh, he's not a bad card at all. Quad Alexander, he's a run stopper, but you can get other. You, you need pass rush. Um, he, he doesn't get no pass rush stats in my mind. I think he can cover though, but I, I don't know for sure. I look, but I know for sure I ain't picking on Kawan Alexander. But my guess, any one of these guys, whatever lineman you need, you need to pick one of these guys for your theme team. So, Jeremy Simmons is not bad. I think probably the best one to pick on out of these four is probably the heavyweights. Next so we have veterans. Wes Walker, hell no, he's 5'9. May have said like 5'10, but I do think he's probably one of the best ones, him and a kicker. But the thing is, most of you guys probably don't have his uh, 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 harvest card because he gets every team chemistry in the A. Is it the ah, shit? What card he's in? God damn it! I think it's the AFC. Yeah, yeah. He gets every AFC chemistry. So most of you guys probably don't have that one. But if not, um, it's perfectly okay. But he does play for a lot of teams. But if he, if if need be, yeah, him. But I mean. Uh, I don't think none of these are probably worth picking up anyway. Maybe the kicker, but like I said, like I said, between these two, whoever has the better kick power, pick them, but this is just really not too good anyway. Um, veteran, Salty Samuel Jr., he will be 99 speed, fully powered up without needing the theme team, as long as you have your DB cards, but he's 5'10". Um, Jalen feels like a beast pass rusher. You guys know I don't care too much about middle linebacker. I just did the Trevor Lawrence game. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. I will provide a playlist and a card for you guys above or in the description box down below. He has Big Ben's release, which I didn't like his release. And we have Rashad Baby, which I also included in the gameplay. If you want me to give me any choice between these, it would probably be Rashad number one. Maybe Asante, maybe Jalen. I mean Asante number two. And Jalen Phillips number three. Now depending on your corner, like I said, he's 99 speed fully powered up. Um Jalen Phillips stats look nasty. Uh so um, but for sure, I would probably go with Sean Bateman probably out of this entire list. So, like I said, once again, I think the best one's probably maybe Derek Carr. One of the, any, any one of the linemen, for sure. Maybe just the kicker because the rest of these guys are ass. And I would probably go with Rashad just because he also gets 99 speed for the power up. Another wrong with Asante Sammy, just like the 5 10 corner just plays. So, sh you get Moss so much, especially on next gen. But current gen, you probably get away with it. But for sure, between Asante Sammy Jr. And Rashad Bateman, there's nothing wrong with Jalen Phillips either. So, um, now who's probably asking, Bree, who are you going to pick? Now, if you guys have been watching the No Money Spent team, you guys know who we're going to need on this account. So, um, how you guys been, man? It's been a you know, hot little minute, you know? You know, tell me about yourself. But, 
Um, I do have a lot of packs. A little Trago say some shit. Why y'all just got damn packs in your thing? You ain't lying, brother. But we got our wild card with this. It, it feels like it's been going slow. And I don't want this to end. I'd rather keep this continue doing this. Because it, it keeps the game fresh. It gives you something to do. Because uh, they take this out. It's only going to be content probably just Fridays and Saturdays. That's going to be lame. And it will be drops this Friday. So we probably work some content for that. We probably say, Brew, which one you're picking, which one you're going to do. Now, obviously, like I said, I, I, I'll show you how the team is kind of going to spoil it. But if I, if I, if I, you probably say, okay, I, I give you a choice like this. If I wasn't running 18 team, and I was lacking. I, I would probably go with Rashad Bateman, probably because of the 99 speed base, six foot, is decent height. Um, if I need a quarterback, probably go with Derek Carr. Uh, they both him and Trevor Lawrence like the same archetype, but Derek Carr like a better release. Uh, or if you just need some linemen, like I said, linemen can fit on anybody. But for sure, it, 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 this this I think this particular past four weeks, you kind of can kind of dictate who you want to pick, depending on your position on your team, which you're lacking. Uh, Southern Sammy Jr., Bateman, Phillips. Uh, the kickers or the linemen, maybe Derek Carr, just a bit. So, I'm going to pick the heavyweights. You probably say, who, who are you picking for the heavyweights? I think the linemen last a long time. That's just me. You don't have to re replace as much. Bam, the big boy Jeffrey Simmons. I need to see his stats, but if I do that, it's going to take away from, uh, it's going to, it's going to lock down. But if I say, who are you going to pick? It's some boys down south. Down south is where I stay. We're gonna pick Tyler because we do run a 50 out of 50 Cowboys theme team, and I didn't want to pay. He was like 200k, and uh, I wasn't paying that for no center just so he can get demolished by uh, Mean Joe Green and uh, Big Ass William Perry and uh, Vince Wilfork. So that's why I'm not. That's why I'm picking. I'm picking whoever fits my theme team or who can last. That's why I'm kind of grateful for this wild card Wednesday crap because you ain't gotta pay for it. So I'm gonna pick Tyler because he does fit this theme team, and I've been constantly waiting on him to get an upgrade for sure. Because that's what we've really been lacking is that we got receivers now. We got our core. We just missed the safeties. So can we get a Roy Williams EA? But this is how the team is looking for no money spent. And this is how I've really been doing because the, the, the rest of the team, we need a tight end. Can we get a slow ass Jason Witten or something? I've had to get Pat upgraded and I probably can do that very soon. But uh, this, the team is looking, this, it's really dangerous, man. Like I said, only really miss it is for sure a safety. <laughs> I need to say it, free safety for sure, but I'm going to empower him up because I was just waiting on what to do with him because I wasn't saying Brie wasn't paying that much. So, so, so sad, so sad. So, the Cowboys theme team is probably one of the most complete teams in this game. So, um, that for sure one of the best. So, David Andrews, you can get your thick ass up out of here, boy. Yes, sir, we bow. So, I'm probably end up quick selling him, and we're going to have a new backup center. We'll probably be 60 out of 50. So, um, it's just how the team is constructed. Eventually, I was hoping Tyron Smith would have been the heavyweight. Maybe Collins would have got upgrade. But for sure, I'm going to need Tyron Smith to get a. Ah, he might get flashback. I can see that happening. Um, we're going to need him to get an upgrade really, 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 really soon. I might end up buffing one of these guys to tackle until Collins gets his upgrade. Because eventually, someone's not going to play. Like, it's sad, but someone's not going to play eventually. We have too many good linemen, so. Um, let me know who you pick in the comment section down below if you don't get the opportunity to pick the Wildcard Wednesday. Let me know how many you're away and who you might pick if once you get this chance for this particular week, man. I'm out. Peace.